Welcome back to Cosmos Anonymous. I am your favorite baby mama bougie vintage and today I'm going to be working on my Forever 21 dress. This is the perfect holiday dress. It's a little black dress and it's a little festive. So let's begin. What you will need is a dress from Forever 21. This one was $22.90 so that's really good for holiday pricing and that's Canadian so probably around $17 in the US. So it's really good, affordable price. I got a large because I figured since I'm pregnant, a large would be best. This is Forever 21 Contemporary, and it's just a basic dress that goes off of the shoulders. The sleeves are like this, they're belled, and I believe the bottom has that same kind of trim on it as well. I'm actually working from my bed today because there's a lot going on in my house <laughs> and I need to work from up here so let's get it started this is the first thing you'll need the forever 21 dress the next thing you're going to need is a feather boa I got mine at the Dollarama so right away you know that this is going to be very affordable this was 250 at the Dollarama this is a 60 inch feather boa I searched high and low for feather boas all over the city and the only place I could find black ones was at the Dollarama. I bought all the black ones on the shelf because I have to use it for another DIY as well. Anyway, you're going to need about two of these for this project. We'll also need scissors and of course black thread and a needle. Or you can glue if you're not, you know, feeling like using a needle and thread. This is literally my weave needle and thread. I asked my mom to bring me a straight needle but she forgot so... I'm going to use this instead. So you want to string your needle, or thread your needle, sorry, not string it. I would go about arm, on arm span or arm's length. You want to secure your knot with one more knot. My hands are mad dry and there's no lotion nearby so it is what it is except the ash. Except the ash. Once your knot is secured, you can go ahead and cut off the excess thread at the base of the knot. Now the feathers do tend to shed a little bit, but that's fine. I mean, if you have a vacuum, you have nothing to worry about. Basically, I'm going to be adding the feather trim to the ends of the garment. So this, I've already done one sleeve. Okay, and you can make it as thick as you want it. I'm going to do the top part of the dress and also this other sleeve. I don't know if I'm going to do the bottom of the dress. If I am going to do the bottom of the dress, I definitely have to whip out um, another one or two boas. The sleeves are fairly easy to do because you can, um, you have a guideline there. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Where the sleeve connects to the frilly part, that's basically your guideline. I can't see on camera what if it's like clear to you guys, so I apologize if it's not. But I'm going to start by threading my needle underneath that garment, or underneath the garment, right where the hemline is, or the connection line between the frill and the sleeve. And I'm going to put it back through, and then come back up again. And then we can start adding the boa. So you're going to find the end of the, your boa where it's roped off. It's going to look like this. Can you see that? It's going to look like that. You're going to find the end of it. And you're going to start sewing it to the garment. This would be a lot easier and quicker with glue, but if you want your dress to actually last, I would definitely suggest sewing it. It's a little bit more tedious, a little bit trickier, but it's for the best. If I were to glue it, I would definitely use fabric glue or E6000. I wouldn't bother to use a glue gun, but the glue gun method 
It would work as well. I mean, if you're only going to wear the dress the one time, then yeah, go ahead. But if you plan to wear this dress more than once, then you might want to not glue it. And I know it's hard to see the black. It's probably hard to see what I'm doing. It would definitely be easier with some other colors, but sorry girl, I wanted a black dress. Another tip or trick is to use your finger as a guide um, underneath the sleeve where the hemline is. You can feel it so you know exactly where you should be sewing down the feathers on this dress in particular at least. Before I finish this sleeve, there's only this much, oh my god, you can't see a damn thing here. <laughs> there's only this much space left, so what I will do is just measure that out and snip it off. And you can always cut it a little longer than it actually is and just overlap as you're sewing. And just like that, that first sleeve is done. It took me about 20 minutes, well, 15 minutes, because I explained for a little bit first. So you just want to finish off the sleeve, secure it, tie a couple knots in your thread after you cut the thread, and then move on to the top part of the dress. Sleeve number two, so you have sleeve one and two are done, and now you can move on to the top of the dress. Now we're going to work on the top of the dress. There is a sticky elastic in the top part to keep it on your body, and there's also um, some give right here in the shoulder, of the, or this, not the shoulder where the sleeve goes around your arm. When you're sewing it, you want to sew only through the first layer, which may be a little difficult, but you don't want to go all the way through because you don't want to stiffen that elastic. If that's too hard for you, you can always just go right directly underneath the elastic, so underneath the hemline, up close. So you would only sew through the first layer. You wouldn't put your needle all the way through to the back side or you can sew your feathers directly below it down here like right underneath that hemline so those are your two options now this is all I have left from the very first boa it's actually just enough to almost do the whole top of the dress but it's not enough to do the whole top of the dress so I'm going to start it in the front. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to start it at the back of the sleeve right here. There's a little hem there where the sleeve connects to the dress. And I'm going to start sewing from back there. Keep in mind that the feathers are definitely going to add a little bit of weight to the garment.
Okay, so like I said, I know it's really hard to see what I'm doing because it's black, but it's pretty straightforward. You're literally just sewing the um, feathers to the perimeter of the dress. So you're just gonna keep doing that until you're done. It's been 23 minutes <clears throat> since I started this video, or since I started sewing the top part of the dress. Just to give you an estimate of how long it's taking. And I'm definitely gonna say that I think the curved needle that you would use for weaving is definitely better than using a straight needle for the mere fact that um, because the feathers are so thick, the curved needles are easier or is easier to see while you're sewing and it's easier to grab and so my thread at this point is pretty short I don't know if you can see it but it's only going from this finger to this finger so I am actually gonna seal it now I'm gonna cut the thread and secure it like tying a few knots in it so far she looks like this and all that's left at the back is this little section right here very tiny section as you see I'm doing this and it's bouncing back because um, I made sure not to sew completely through the plastic or the elastic so I'm just gonna measure out that last part do some overlapping if we'd like we're gonna cut it you trying to, you're trying to ask me like oh, there's so many trial wrappers and like oh, these are trial wrappers that I'm going to show you Toronto Rappers, okay? Because he, he, he thinks Pyrex in them yeah. are the Toronto Rappers. Yeah, like Robin Banks and no, it's Sam, Carsaw. Sam DJG. Yeah. Hoodlum. Hoodlum. Those are the, I didn't pull those up. the real Toronto That's Rappers. Toronto we'll Toronto give Books rapper. a pass because he's actually from Melbourne. Books Melbourne has the most rappers. Ben can't the even, most. they can't even hold a candle to Melbourne. Nobody can hold a candle to Melbourne. What does that say mean? Like, you, they can't match with us. No, oh, no way. I think Hudlum got the first million views. Must. I don't know why. Why? Yeah. Because before I met you, I was bumping that. Yeah. And I, w I stopped listening to... I don't even know why I ended up watching Toronto rappers' videos. I don't know how that came about. They're fucking epic. <laughs> I don't know how I that for you. That's hip hop. If that's not <laughs> hip hop, nothing is. I don't know how I came about watching it. I just know I stopped watching it, and then all of a sudden, you I met you, and I started watching it again. It's great. <laughs> it's like they're actually like many celebrities, but they actually don't even fucking matter. This is so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, the whole like, Toronto will know who they are. But like, who cares? The whole city knows who you are. In other cities, when you're local famous, you're still bumping. You still make money and get booked for shows and stuff. Like, other, like there's rappers that are only popping in on LA, and they get little shows out there. Of course, and they're actually like yeah. known. Yeah. They're like celebrities out there. They're little mini celebrities. Like if you don't know them, you're they're questioning you're you. Yeah. But that's just Toronto because nobody wants to see anybody. The whole fucking city from east to west can know who <laughs> Sam G is, and it doesn't fucking matter. Nobody cares because cares. it's Toronto. Baby. We're because not, there's no money in it. Yeah, yeah they they do it for the love. But club club owners are sleeping. If you put fucking Sam G on a flight, uh, Sam G on a like flight. Like say back when all of them dropped Y. If you because put, they're like, dying. You're you putting put, Sam G on a flight. What are you talking about? <laughs> 
That's but why. The, that's but why. Boys and Presa and them, they get shows out in like Vancouver. I know stuff. they get shows. Cause the little white kids love that shit. And that's because business people are smart out there. Like, oh, that's little fucking Roni. It's not just that. It's fucking um, Windsor. There's be- always shows in Windsor, wherever the colleges are. That's exactly what kind of those kids are from, and further. Yeah, they're from like Barry. Like Bugs and stuff. Cambridge. And stuff. I know. Like, He's in that little white youth house. I don't even know how to get there. <laughs> I don't know how they pull this shit off, but they do. Um, like, imagine the kids' parents seeing their kid hanging out with Bugs. Seeing their house on the internet with some little kids in there They'll never rapping see about. You. Yeah, right. The parents will never see you, babe. How? I don't know, but they... I don't know. Family friend might come across it. I don't know, babe, but it's... Yeah. Imagine seeing yeah, your... Imagine. Seeing your house being used for such a ratchet treat. Yeah, ratchet treat. Bugs. Talking about he's not taking off his shoes. Don't step on my snaps, man. What? We snapped at the exact same <laughs> second. Bun made out of bread? Yeah. Steamed. Ew. So it's soggy. No, it's not. It's, it's actually like the fucking perfect, warmest, nicest, softest bun ever. <laughs> it's like cocoa bread, but like hot. Like a Sushali bun? No, I, he can't explain it. You have, to, <clears throat> you have to put it in your mouth. Oh, alright. <laughs> I wonder if that line's ever worked before. <laughs> I can't explain it. He has to put it in your mouth. I'm sucking dick, so he says that to me. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. He says that to serve some dick. <laughs> It's one of those. <laughs> okay. I see you. <laughs> Can't get my Brazilian babe. Oh my, oh god. my god. When is that happening again? Right at 1.30. I think she said at 1 o'clock. So we are done. We already got the sleeves popping. I think if you were to add any feathers to the bottom of the dress, it would be too much. You would look like an actual black chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're just going to leave the bottom alone. Um, I'm not even going to cut the frills off. I think the frills will be fine on there. I'm going to put the dress on so you guys can see the finished product. But you're mad dry, babe. I know. <laughs> I'm ashy. I thought you were right, you were right here. You're I'm just dry. dry. You're dry, yeah. Doing DIY. I'm going to try to shoot this part as fast as humanly possible because my feet are so swollen that these shoes feel like they're a size freaking six. But this is the finished product, guys. I could have definitely sewed the top part a little looser, but it's still working out for the best. Feathers, feathers, and I definitely like it without the frill, the, the feathers at the bottom. That would be way too much. So the sleeves and the top part, and yeah, and Salem up in the gut. Paired with my Steve Madden boots that do not fit me right now. So this is the finished product. I hope you guys like this DIY. I hope you guys are going to try this. You can do it in any color. But I just wanted to do a little black dress. Because you can never go wrong with a little black dress. And that's it. I love you all and I'll definitely see you in the next one.